Hi, I'm Radek, I'm a developer advocate at QuickNote, and today we are going to dive into the world of layer two solutions. We'll focus on ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. And by the end of this video, you will understand how they work, learn their pros and cons, learn which type is better for different use cases and see real world examples of using each. Ready to explore the world of rollups? Then let's go. So what are rollups and how do they work? Rollups are ingenious solutions that help blockchain networks handle more transactions with lower fees. What they do is bundle transactions into batches, like rolling them up into neat little packages and submit them to the main chain for verification. And the primary goal is to supercharge Ethereum scalability without sacrificing the security and decentralization benefits that Ethereum offers. Now, there are two popular kits on the rollup block, ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. Each has its own set of benefits and trade-offs with the main difference lying in their methods of verifications. Let's have a look at ZK rollups first. ZK rollups are like blockchain magicians. They use zero knowledge proof to guarantee the validity of transaction without needing to process them on chain. If you're curious about zero knowledge proofs, check out my previous video where I break it down with a story based explanation and even throw in magician for a good measure. So here's how ZK rollups work. They leverage zero knowledge proofs, specifically ZK snarks, to validate and process transactions off chain. So the validation itself is happening off chain and what is being submitted to main chain is already validated. The main chain needs to only verify the proof of the whole batch, saving a ton of computational power compared to validating each transaction individually. Optimistic rollups, on the other hand, are like the eternal optimists of the blockchain world. They rely on a fraud proof system that assumes that transactions are valid until proven otherwise. When a rollup, this whole batch of transactions is submitted to the main chain, it's optimistically assumed that the state update is valid. However, the network allows a challenge period during which any participant of this network can dispute the rollup if they can provide a fraud proof. So the optimistic rollups save time on the validations because they don't do that, they are trustful fellows, but then they need to allow for the period when other participants of the blockchain are doing that validation and proof for them. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive deeper into the similarities and differences between ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. For similarities, both are like superheroes swooping in to improve Ethereum's scalability. Both use off-chain transaction processing with on-chain data availability. And both maintain security and decentralization as their core principles. As for the differences, ZK rollups use zero knowledge proof for validity, while optimistic rollups use fraud proofs. ZK rollups have instant finality, whereas optimistic rollups have a delay in finality due to the challenge period. And depending on the project, the challenge period varies between a few hours up to a week. ZK rollups require more complex cryptography and are limited to specific types of transactions, while optimistic rollups are EVM compatible and support more general smart contracts functionality. Unless in terms of ZK rollups, it's Polygon ZK EVM, which is also EVM compatible and more and more EVM compatible ZK rollups are coming up seemingly weekly. In terms of ease of programming, ZK rollups are more challenging unless they are EVM compatible. They are more difficult to implement and cryptographic proofs are more resource intensive. Optimistic rollups are easier. There is no need for validity computation, no proof posting, publishing limited data, and EVM compatible as well. Another big difference is approach to security. ZK rollups provide cryptographic guarantees of correctness. Their zero knowledge proofs ensure that only valid transactions can be submitted, which means that incorrect or fraudulent transactions cannot be included into the rollup that goes to the mainnet. Optimistic rollups, on the other hand, rely on the challenge game for security. They trust that your transaction is valid and if someone submits an invalid state, it's up to the network participants to challenge and to refute it. This means that the security of optimistic rollups is more reliant on the network's ability 
to detect and respond to fraudulent behavior, while ZK Rollups rely on cryptographic proofs and submitting already verified transactions. Let's look at some projects utilizing both these technologies. In the ZK Rollups world, some of the better known names are ZK Sync, Polygon ZK AVM, Loopring, Scroll and DYDX on Starkware. In the optimistic universe, it's Arbitrum, Optimism and Boba Network. And there you have it. ZK Rollups and Optimistic Rollups each bring their own set of superpowers to the table. ZK Rollups dazzle with instant finality, Optimistic Rollups show off their versatility. Both provide remarkable improvements in transaction throughput and scalability over Ethereum layer 1. But remember, with great power come great trade-offs in security, complexity and transaction finality. The ultimate decision between them will hinge on the specific needs and requirements of the project that you are building. As a general guideline, if you need faster finality, ZK rollups. If you need easier development and you expect more transactions, optimistic rollups. Whatever you choose, the future of Ethereum is looking brighter than ever. See you soon.